The decision of Trump to withdraw from the Paris Agreement uh, is a bad decision. But in any case, I think that the uh, US is isolated because the G7, uh, the declaration of G7, closed two days ago, three days ago in Italy, and also China, um, has said that they want to keep going on in uh, preserving the environment for, for uh, climate change. I think it's very important that the European Union works with other international partners like China and other G20 countries that we stick to our commitment and I think the Paris Agreement will survive Donald Trump. Maybe he will not even be in office for four years and I think after that we can again work with the United States to implement the Paris Agreement. Europe uh, has led uh, the process uh, for um, climate change, for actions against climate change from Kyoto to Paris. So we have a real leadership uh, in these sectors. Um, we can say that we have the, leaderships, the leadership not only in the international conference about climate, but also in actions. Just yesterday, the European Parliament approved the effort sharing regulation. I think we need to work with China. We are not in agreement when it comes to human rights, but when it comes to climate change and addressing the problems, developing new technologies, China can be a partner. And I think Europe and China will show the way also for the United States. We will develop these technologies, implement them, and be also economically more successful than the United States, which with President Trump somehow look backwards. Of course, because uh, we know that uh, the pollution is related to two sectors. Transport, more than two sectors, but two sectors above all. Transportation and buildings. That's why I think that the city of Barcelona um, has made a very good action. Uh, we have to keep going on with the electrification of transportation uh, in cars, uh, in uh, trams, uh, in something like that. But we have to keep going on. And the other measure, very important, is in, co in cooling and eating, uh, so in um, more efficient energy efficiency uh, of buildings. And this is another important point. But let me also say that is important uh, even how we manage the waste. I think uh, it's not for the European Union to decide, uh, it is not for the European Union to decide what cities have to do in concrete. We need to protect our citizens and may it be with incentives, may it be with environmental protection zones or complete other measures, that is a decision of the local level. But it's important that we are protecting our citizens and that we use all the possible technologies to get the dangerous pollutants out of the air. The Parliament uh, has uh, asked, uh, has approved a resolution uh, in which we ask to ban the um, palm oil for biofuels. As you know, um, is the Commission that needs to uh, make regulations for the application of this ban and we will see what the Commission will do. But we have asked the Commission to uh, be very um, determined in, on these actions. I believe in biofuels, I want to be clear, but I think that biofuels can come from other uh, resources. We need to take care what kind of oil is used in the European Union, especially when it comes to biofuels, uh, because we want sustainable biofuel. And sometimes in countries, for example in Southeast Asia, palm oil is produced on land where was rainforest before, and that is very bad for the environment. So that's why we need certified palm oil, and that's what the European Union should push for.